Coming up, Harmony Woodington. Founded by Harmony Woodington, Awakened Body uses outside-of-the-box thinking to support its clients in creating a life in service of themselves. Using a combination of hypnotherapy and other healing modalities, Harmony works with clients one-on-one, teaching them about the connection between behavior and the brain and demonstrating how to connect with their subconscious minds to own their power, live their life's purpose, and release habits and emotions which do not support their goals. She works with healthcare providers and specialists to research and adapt her program to ensure that each client's needs are met that they experience successful treatment outcomes. Harmony is passionate about helping others to achieve optimal health and well-being and has researched and combined information from different modalities to develop. And we're back and uh, I'm very excited to have this next guest on my show. Um, we're just going to jump right into things. It's Harmony Woodington. How are you today, Harmony? I'm absolutely fantastic. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. I'm really excited about your new book. Um, I Obviously, I glanced at your website and I, I've been like just ecstatic about all the stuff you're doing. And um, what particularly grabbed me is this new book. And I think um, because of airtime, there won't be that special anymore, but right now your book is selling um, uh, at a special price. But by the time people view this, it's going to be full price, well worth uh, the money, I know. So let's chat very briefly about the book and a little bit about you as well. So people out there, if they don't know you, they can get to know you a little bit as well. Now, I love the title. I'm going to start right off with the title. Um, Create a healthy romantic relationship. Own your power and take control of your romantic life once and for all. And I've got to tell you right off the bat, years ago, when I was entering into my now marriage, um, probably 21, 22 years ago, um, and this is going to sound horrible, but I made my future wife read a book by Barbara DeAngelis called Are You the One for Me? And at that time, that was kind of my Bible. Um, I found it very relevant for all kinds of relationships. Um, uh, and, and, you know, it, it also kind of tackled stuff that could potentially go wrong and or go right. So when you came out with this book, and of course, I acknowledge there, there's tons of relationship books out there, but something resonated for me. Um, and, and this might sound woo woo to some of our viewers out there, it might not, but something about the energy of the title and, um, the book cover, I know everyone says, don't judge a book by its cover, but (laughs) something resonated for me about your relationship book in particular. So I'm going to ask you right away, why should people read this book? (laughs) I automatically want to go um, for the saucy because I'm not going to lie. Um, I do talk very unfiltered about intimacy. And I think it's really important um, for us to be able to talk about that because one of the biggest aspects of our relationship, um, any romantic relationship is intimacy. And it's not something that you you really have easy access to, uh, to get education and to get support. Um, I, I was raised actually uh, Christian. And so I was very disempowered and had absolutely no knowledge when it came to that. So um, really learning and figuring things out for myself and becoming empowered myself was a journey that I went on alone. And I wanted to write a book that was going to be really unfiltered and uncensored that allowed people to be able to come to a place where they felt like they could really learn the fundamental foundation of how to hold space and how to engage with a person um, on an intimate level, as well as emotional and mental and all of the rest of that as well. So I've never personally read a relationship book that actually talks um, as unfiltered as I do, or even bothers talking about intimacy at all. Usually it's the fundamental ABC one, two, three of just um, the the mental and the emotional health of a relationship. Um, I get into all aspects of it. So there's a, there's a beautiful framework 
that I teach in it. And it is remember you. What do we do when we get into a relationship? When we fall in love, we forget ourselves, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, right? Yeah. And when people get out of a relationship, what do they say? I need to find myself again. Yes. Right? Yes. So absolutely. It's one of the biggest puzzle pieces of the recipe of success in a relationship is to remember you, is to create a life in service of yourself and to encourage your partner to do the same and to lift each other up. That's just, that's just a tiny little bit of it. So for, to have a saucy, juicy read, buy this book uh, because I'm very unfiltered about my own intimate life. If you guys want to learn more about that, I am unfiltered. And then there's the beautiful foundational framework in there that really teaches you everything that you need to know um, to create a relationship with yourself and to learn how to self-communicate and to really define and get clarity of what it is that you want, who you are, and to really design your own, what I call love arena. And when you understand what a love arena is and you define that for yourself, then you can go out and meet people and you can invite them into a defined love arena and give them their, their free agency to then say, yes, that sounds amazing. I, I would love to opt into that. Or no, that doesn't really work for me. I'm not down for that kind of a relationship. But most people are engaging in romantic relationships with no clarity whatsoever and expecting to be successful. So I think this book really um, supports you getting that definition and next leveling that. Absolutely. I'm excited by your terminology, love arena, because as a clinical hypnotherapist myself for more than 25 years and, and other credentials as well, you're aware of issues and topics that have come up with your own clients and patients, et cetera, and perhaps students as well. And one that is very, very prevalent, I've found, is you're going to attract, and this has all different terms and names and whatever for it, but you're going to attract who you believe you are subconsciously. So if you don't have a positive self-image, if you're not actually loving the real you with a capital R and, and have uh, this functionality uh, both within yourself, it's going to be mirrored in the sorts of relationships that come to you or that you attract, if you will. So I love your phrasing, your terminology of love arena, because that's kind of all encompassing, is it not? Yes. Uh, fundamentally, it starts with your relationship with yourself. If you don't love yourself, then you're going to have a difficult time attracting somebody who is going to give you the love that you deserve, right? Because that's exactly what we do is we attract the, we, the love that we feel we deserve. So if you first create an unconditionally loving relationship with yourself, then the universe is going to match you by sending you a person who's going to unconditionally love you. Um, I didn't get a Scotty until I went on that healing journey for myself and started on that self-love path. And then I was matched by this beautiful farm boy who was raised by parents that literally had the fairy tale love um, up until his father passed away a few years ago. So um, I've gotten to experience unconditional love, but I had to create that for myself first. Absolutely. So you're right. It's your relationship with yourself. It's your subconscious mind. It's your programming. It's, it's our mommy daddy programming and stuff like that, that really creates the, the dynamics of the relationship. So owning your power really, when it comes to it, it's not doing a power pose. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> power poses are great. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking power poses. However, owning your power is actually learning to create um, a relationship with your whole mind. Totally. Creating a harmonious relationship with your conscious and your subconscious mind. Because as you know, a very small portion of the mind is our conscious mind, right? Absolutely. So we can want, we can want a dude with a six pack, we can want a guy who, um, you know, showers us with presents and showers us with love and takes us all around the world and has all these amazing things and loves and adores us and is super honest. And then we go and we attract a guy who just walked out, out of Compton and treats us like absolute trash because subconsciously we're being told that this is what I deserve. Yeah. You know, consciously we want something else. So when you learn how to create that harmonious relationship with the with the whole mind and to learn how to update your mental operating system. What I call it is a mind gardener. 
Uh, you learn how to garden and get the weeds out and stuff and then plant beautiful thing in, uh, things in there that are actually going to support you. Vegetables, maybe. Uh. Um, they'll grow and flourish and then you'll have this beautiful garden to pick from to create amazing things. I love that. I love, again, that analogy. I've called it for many years, cleaning up the dustbin of your mind, if you will. And um, it, it's so important. People just think, oh, it happens. It's a fairy tale thing that happens. Yeah. But really, there's major work, which you've sort of alluded to, major work that goes on before you bring in a healthy relationship and yeah. then the work has only just begun. Now, a lot of people think, oh, once you've got the relationship or once you have the baby or, or whatever it is, that's the end. But you and I both know it's really only just the beginning and hopefully it's a labor of love. Is it not? Yes, really, when it comes to being on the expansion path, you're on that path from the time that you start it for the rest of your life. And it's, it's really interesting because when I was younger, just being a pretty girl and all the focus being on my beauty, I thought that was my greatest asset. And then when I was in a major car accident, I was in a four car accident that took me out of my life in 2012. Um, and I didn't have access to my brain for a long time. And then when I finally got it back, it was incredible um, just how much I valued it and I tested it and pushed its capacity as much as I possibly could. And now I value my intellectual capacity and my um, IP more than anything else in my life. So I have this deep hunger for knowledge and wisdom and growth more than anything else. And I am on the expansion path for the rest of my life. And, and that is exactly how it should be. And just to create a little bit of clarity when it comes to relationships, I don't want to, um, to really put out there the idea that you need to be single to do this work. Right. I don't want anybody to break up with their partner <laughs> and go, I need to do some work. I need to be alone. Please don't do that. And don't blame me for that. Okay. I'm not your scapegoat. <laughs> <laughs> if you are in a relationship yes. and it's not everything that you want it to be, or you're saying, I want to do some expanding work, please communicate with your partner and let them know that you want to walk a path to make the, to make yourself better, which in turn could make the relationship amazing. And just ask your partner to get on board and to support you on your path. Don't ask them to join you because they have their free agency. You walk your own path and allow for you walking your path to influence them. And if they decide to sign on at some point and do the work with you, that's really beautiful. And you're going to find one of two things happen. You're going to find your partner is either going to be inspired by you and you're going to influence them and they're going to walk the path with you, or they're going to be completely incongruent and they're going to realize this isn't what I want. I don't like the direction that you're going in. And the two of you are going to do this. And, and that doesn't make your partner a bad person. It right. just means that they want to walk a different path. And if that's how it is, send them away with love. And keep going and call somebody new in who's going to be a fit for where you're going. Absolutely. So it's beautiful and perfect where you are right now, whether you're single or whether you're in a relationship, this work can be done at any point in time. In fact, a lot of the work that I did on my healing path was with a Scotty by my side. Um, he's been with me for eight years and he's been with me for a lot of that journey. So I'm incredibly grateful for my cheerleader. Awesome. Awesome. He's a great guy as well. I know him uh, as a magician because he's part of the magic community. And that's sort of how I, you came to my attention was I think I did some work for him or with him last year, some judging of a magic competition. He, he approached me and whatever. And then I realized, oh, wait a second, his girlfriend, spouse, whatever, is also a therapist. And I hope I'm correct in using that the big T, the terminology <laughs> here, therapist, because a lot of people don't care for that term. A lot of therapists don't care for the term therapist, and that's fine as well. But um, what excited me as well, beside your book, Harmony, was all the services. I've counted nine at least. I'm sure you've come <laughs> up with more or will as you're guided to, as, the, um, as your clients or patients um, need more. Um, I'm just looking down. I see love magnet program, mental operating system update. Wow. I love that. Uh, professional expansion session, the 30 day self love challenge. Very crucial. The self love insiders guide secret success strategy, mental health support 
support for professionals and entrepreneurs. And that's also, I don't know if it's still a Facebook group. I had to back away from that. I, I just felt overwhelmed with all these things that you didn't know about my new broadcast and this one as well. So forgive me for that, please. It's it's something that's very, very crucial. Uh, group coaching, self-love for kids. Those are just some of them. Did you want to expand on one, one that kind of stands out for you, one of these services? <laughs> Um, if anybody wants to have the opportunity to uh, have access to something for free, something that isn't going to cost you anything just to get to know my teachings, uh, the 30 day self love challenge is really beautiful and it is based on um, the concept of reprogramming the mind through repetition so as we know. Uh, the mind is programmed through authority, repetition, and trauma, right? And a lot of the times, uh, all three of them can be coupled together to create powerful programs. So I like to use authority and repetition, not trauma. However, I also do like to use high emotion events to help create positive programs, but I wouldn't call them trauma, obviously. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, right. So it is important to remember that Trauma is a high emotion event, which creates the program. And you can utilize that by doing something like paragliding to integrate something really positive into your mind or skydiving or bungee jump or something that creates really high emotion that'll anchor in something, an intention that you have. So you can utilize that really beautifully. So this 30 day self-love challenge utilizes repetition to reprogram the mind in as little as five minutes a night before you go to sleep. So this framework, all you have to do is download it and then buy yourself a beautiful journal that inspires you to write and put it by your nightstand, not in a drawer, but on the top of your nightstand. So you're not going to forget to do it. And it holds you accountable. And when you spend every night before you go to bed, focusing on self-love and encouraging yourself and praising yourself and just focusing on your goals, that's what's going to be going into your subconscious mind before you go to sleep because it bypasses the critical mind. And every night when you program that positivity into the subconscious mind over a 30-day process, you will be amazed at how differently your mind is functioning and how different your, your internal dialogue actually is. You'll find yourself actually being more gentle on yourself when you make mistakes and a little bit more loving toward yourself and finding yourself maybe wanting to work out more or you know, maybe fight for that job that you really want or choosing healthier foods because all of a sudden you believe you're worth a little bit more. It, it's amazing how it affects everything. Absolutely. In, in essence, you're reprogramming yourself more or less at your pace rather than depending on an outside source like a therapist. I guess that puts us out of business in a way, doesn't it? <laughs> but um, um, truly, one must go at their own pace, at a pace that they're comfortable with. And I think those are wonderful tools. You know, none of us has enough time for everything, but I could see each and every one of these titles being a Facebook page, a group page where people can come and, and, and vent or talk and um, have you lead them perhaps, but who the heck has the time to do yeah. all that, right? Yeah, it's a lot. And that's exactly why I created this tool. Um, I've been working with clients since 2015. And um, even in all the work that we were doing in the treatment room, I felt like there was something that I needed to do uh, that would next level their self-love journey and something that they could do at home to really integrate um, the teachings, because everything that you try to teach somebody, you and I both know, they're going to implement and utilize whatever it is that you're teaching them based on their self-worth, their self-love. Absolutely. So Absolutely. the more that you can do to support them reprogramming their mind for self-love, so they will take on and implement the things that they learn, the better. So I believe this to be a powerful assistant or tool that actually supports a therapist being more effective. Absolutely. Very, very exciting. That's just, we just covered the tip of the iceberg with you. I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'd love true. to have you, I'd love to have you back in the future. Uh, if, and when you have time, would you come back sometime? Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Awesome. And a way, maybe two ways that, or three ways that people might get in touch with you. Oh yeah. If you want to get in touch with me, you can absolutely, uh, you can go to my Facebook page, um, and you can connect with an amazing group of people in the mental health, 
um, support for professionals and entrepreneurs, you can absolutely join the group and reach out to me there. You can also go to harmonywoodington.com and you can book uh, a free discovery session with me. Um, I also have connection calls that you can book with me through all of my social media, any of my social media, you can click on a link that will take you to my link tree, which allows for you to book a connection call. Um, so it's, it's really easy through Facebook um, or any of my social media to find me uh, to really get access to me. I've made it really, really easy to connect. Awesome. Vital work, crucial work. Thank you so much for your time and efforts, um, Harmony. Well, thank you so much. I want each and every one of you to know that the reason that I'm here on this planet is to flood the earth with love. Absolutely. And every single thing that I do when I create is for that purpose, to empower each and every one of you and to help you to really develop a loving relationship with yourselves and to become a lighthouse for self-love because I'm not going to do this alone. It takes the many. So I really um, implore you to take advantage of uh, the teachings that I have, free offerings that I have. And if you feel so inspired, please come and join me in my unconditionally loving arena so that I can support you. Very good. Thank you, Harmony. And thanks to all of you out there for joining us as well. We'll see you all next time with another vital, exciting, interesting, magical person. I'm Michael Leike. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.